I want to start off with this story about Northwestern student government freezing college Republicans funding over poster critical of LGBTQ community. Well, that's not really why they did it. They did it because of uh, James Lindsay. I think we all know that. And um, and we're going to talk about this. But guys, please mount that like button. Everyone needs to mount the like button. The, the mounting the like button tells YouTube to recommend my channel more. Come on. I want to see those likes go up. I will start the show when the likes get to a sufficient level. I want to see like at least, you know, 10 to 20 more likes. Come on, guys. We don't smash the like button on this channel. We mount the like button on this channel. And uh, that tells YouTube to recommend my content to other people. Okay, almost there. Come on. I know you guys can do it. I know you can. Also, please make sure, double check that you are subscribed to the channel and that you have notifications turned on. That really does help me out. All right. Thank you guys for that nice little boost of likes. I do appreciate it. Vince is liked and shared on Facebook. Thank you guys. Really, the additional just liking and like sharing stuff, it really, really helps with the algorithm. And it's also going to make sure my content is actually recommended to you. So it really does make a difference. All right, let's read this story. Student government at Northwestern University in Illinois indefinitely froze the funds of the university's chapter of the College Republicans amid backlash to posters advertising an event with a conservative speaker. Oh, so it was about James Lindsay after all, Fox News. Look at that. The university's associated student government last week passed an emergency legislation. This is an emergency. James Lindsay coming to your college campus is an emergency. Sure. By a large majority that cut off the funding for the Northwestern University College Republicans, according to the Daily Northwestern. The move reportedly came in response to controversial flyers that advertised a May 2nd event that organized that the organization hosted with conservative speaker James Lindsay. Okay, pause. James Lindsay's not a conservative. (laughs) James Lindsay's not a conservative in any way. I don't know why people think James Lindsay is a liberal. I mean, or at least like he's maybe agnostic at best at this point, but I would correct me if I'm wrong. We've got a lot of James Lindsay fans in the chat. Has James Lindsay ever said that he's a conservative like ever? And this is supposed to be a news website. Oh, I am I, I understand now. The put This comes from the post millennial. OK, got it. Hmm. Post millennial, not known for its accurate journalism. His speech covered the perils of Marxism and transgenderism, according to the Post Millennial. One of the posters, which noted the event was Lindsay, with Lindsay, was also presented by the school's chapter of Young Americans for Freedom, or YAF, depicted a skull and bones poison symbol superimposed over the LGBT pride flag framed in sunglasses, according to the student newspaper. And here we have uh, James's tweets about the event. The consequences for the Northwestern University College Republicans for a flyer they posted for a talk they invited me to give a couple days ago are they got their front funding frozen indefinitely by the student government and face investigation. The leftist agitators on the rather embarrassing campus convinced the leftist student government to freeze their funding based on the use of the internationally recognized poison icon on the flyer, claiming that it represents death threats against LGBTQ. This is what they're upset about. This is what they're upset about. Guys, has anyone seen the cover of James Lindsay's book? Hang on with Helen Pluckrose. Does anyone remember what the cover of James Lindsay's book looks like? That's what the cover of James Lindsay's book looks like. That was a clear homage to the cover of James Lindsay's book with Helen Pluckrose called Cynical Theories. We read it in my book club maybe a couple years ago. It's a it's a great book. Apparently going for $500, oh, 25 copies are going for $500. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, I've got a copy sitting in a pile of books over there. I'll sell it for $500. And and it, and it's and it's a beefy book. It really is. It's a weighty book to get through. But that's the cover of it. And that's clearly what they're paying the homage to. 
when they have the sunglasses with the LGBTQ flag. Lindsay told the Post Millennial that woke students at the school apparently took the flyer as a death threat. A kid showed it to me, and the first thing I said was, oh, that's the poison symbol, not a threat. If you are educated here, you'd know that. I mean, they're making a, a good point. He's not threatening to kill anyone. He's saying this stuff is dangerous. It literally says the dangers of identity, politics, and intersectionality. It's the danger symbol. It's like, don't go there. Don't do it. Don't do it. The leftist agitators on the rather embarrassing campus convinced the leftist student government to freeze the funding based on the use of the internationally recognized poison symbol on the flyers, claiming it represented death threats against the LGBTQ. The designer is gay himself. Self-hating gay, probably. Molly says, a ju- uh, Molly, a junior who serves as the co-president of the student government, told the Daily North- Northwestern that they froze the funds because the flyers were allegedly in violation of the university's policy on discrimination and harassment, which uh, prohibits the display of offensive objects and pictures that are based on a protected class. So free speech is alive and well at Northwestern. We can't prevent a speaker from coming to campus as a student government. That's done by the administration. We focused on the part we could control, which is the the student group conduct and student government finances. Weinberg College freshman Malik Rice, who serves as the student government's co-executive officer of justice and inclusion, their student government has a co-executive officer of justice and inclusion, which means there's two of them, helped write the legislation and said the student government has a duty to amplify the voices of the marginalized. This is a side of injustice and one of justice, he says. The student government does not want to be on the side of injustice. The funds will reportedly remain frozen until university officials investigate to determine if the posters violated the harassment policy. Augustine Breyer, the acting president of the uh, Northwestern University College Republicans, claimed to the college fix that their organization had not been told about the student government meeting that saw their funding pulled. Oh, so it's like they held a secret meeting to retaliate against speech they didn't like. Isn't that nice of them? They did not reach out to us regarding the concern over the advertisement nor the event, nor did they invite us to speak for ourselves at the meeting. And in fact, they still haven't even officially notified us of their decision. We only learned of their move from the school newspaper when they asked us for comment. Breyer told the Daily Northwestern that they consider the ASG's move as an attempt to kill our freedom of expression and speech at Northwestern. Northwestern University spokesperson John said in the lead up to the event with Lindsay that while the speaker's views do not align with Northwestern's commitment to diversity and inclusion, they are protected by free speech and free expression. Legal scholar and Fox News contributor Jonathan Turley, an alumnus of Northwestern, was also critical of the student government's actions and wrote on his website Tuesday that his alma mater has long been a school hostile to free speech. It is doubtful that other groups from the College Democrats to Black Lives Matter to pro-choice groups would be sanctioned for using the common symbol to express their opposition to the MAGA movement or racism or pro-life positions. That's a really good point. I do not like the imagery and I expect that I do not agree with some of Lindsay's views. However, the actions taken by the board was was legitimately called out by the writer as an attack on his free speech. Turley continued, adding that the university will have to do more than be a pearl-clutching pedestrian when confronted by such attacks on free speech. Well, I don't think that that's going to go over, but okay. Bruno, I'm reading their budget and apparently spent $38.9 million in equity and in learning. That's around five. Is this for Northwestern or is this for that school district, Bruno? That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of money for anyone. So, guys, that's what's going on at Northwestern. Free speech is alive and well, of course.